you have an action that you're going to frequently need, you can go ahead and store it on the desktop as a droplet. For example, I frequently need to create DVD slideshows. I'm going to show you how you could take an action to create a DVD slideshow and store it as a droplet. This will then allow you to drag an entire folder of images onto the droplet and Photoshop will automatically launch and batch process the images. Let's see how. Let's go ahead and take our actions one step further. If I have an action that I find useful, I can turn it into a drag and drop droplet. This is essentially a mini application that can reside on your desktop or in a folder and you can drag images on top of it to quickly process them. Let's go ahead and select one of our production oriented actions from the video actions folder and in this set I am going to choose the interlace flicker removal. Now I'll twirl down this action because the very first step is a stop which is describing the action. This stop says that this action is best used on a flattened image or on individual layers to remove or reduce interlace flicker in those still images. Well, Once we know what that does we can simply throw that stop away. This way the action will not stop and display that message every single time it is run. Let's select the action in the Actions palette and choose File, Automate, Create Droplet. And this allows us to specify a location to store the droplet, such as the desktop, and I'll call this Interlace Fix. There we go. Next, I'll specify which actions the video action set in the Interlace Flicker Removal and I will choose that I do want to include any subfolders that are within the main folder when I drag it. Don't bother with any opening warnings and then go ahead and drop those into a new folder. Let's choose that same processed folder we had earlier. Everything is all set there. We'll log any errors to the same file. Let's go ahead and select our error log that we made on the desktop. There we go and I'll click OK. And nothing appeared to happen, but if we go and take a look on the desktop, we'll see that a new droplet has been created. Let's check that out. Here's our desktop, and there is our interlace flix droplet. Let's make that a little bigger. So this allows us to take a folder of images or an individual image and drag and drop. And when we let go, those images are opened into Photoshop where they will be batch processed. Now, notice these images are JPEGs, so Photoshop is asking us to specify a quality option on the JPEG before saving. JPEGs are particularly problematic. So let's go ahead and click Cancel for a moment and we'll stop these actions. I'm going to process those JPEGs so they are no longer compressed files and move them into a more useful file format for video. Let's choose File, Scripts, Image Processor. And I'm going to select that folder called Chicago. And I'm going to save in the same location. And I want to save that as a TIFF file. And I'll click Run. Now these images are each being converted to a TIFF. There is no loss in quality. And this is actually a much better file format because with JPEGs, every time you open and close them where a save is involved, you have additionally recompressed the image, causing lots of problems. So within that Chicago folder, there is now a folder called TIFF. There we go. Let's close that error log. Here's my TIFFs. Drag, drop. And now Photoshop will kick in and automatically fix the interlace flicker in those images. Notice how quickly it is moving through. There we have it. Let's check the process folder. There are my new images with the interlace flicker reduced and optimized for the video screen. And there you have a droplet in action.